Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. This video will be an in-depth comparison between Wix Studio and Webflow. So in today's comparison, I'm going to be putting both platforms across critical factors like design capabilities, customization range, content integration, overall ease of use and other things. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have the complete perspective determining which solution optimally aligns to your site needs and skill level based on the strengths of both sites showcased. Whether you're launching online stores, portfolios or blogs, stick around for this video. And to get started to frame up the key assessment criteria, let's first establish baseline context around the core components for crafting exceptional sites. So at the highest level, your web presence serves as the digital foundation representing a brand essence through look, feel and functionality. And this is achieved by balancing the engaging designs, so visuals, layouts, topography and colors that captivate while conveying brand identity, intuitive navigation, responsive performance, impactful messaging, and frictionless functionality. In today's crowded attention economy filled with unlimited digital diversions, achieving distinguished presence requires tools balancing creative reach without compromising accessible optimization. And this represents the essence of why leaders like Wix and Webflow provide tremendous value when empowering site development for millions yearly. When it comes to household names in mainstream web design, Wix reigns supreme with 200 million plus users leveraging their simplified site builder to publish pages without technical skills. But how exactly does this site conjure such magical results for the masses? Let's take a look at the elements responsible, starting with thousands of professionally designed templates. Getting started with Wix feels fast and focused with access to beautiful pre-crafted site templates spanning diverse verticals like restaurants, law firms, portfolios, events, and blogs requiring only content population. And while some of the builders rely on community contributions, risking inconsistencies, Wix exclusively offers pro-grade designs meeting high aesthetic benchmarks ideal for quick yet polished outcomes. And this has personally saved me endless hours experimenting aimlessly following mere guesses instead of best practices. But customization still satisfies should distinction become priority. There's of course the drag and drop editing interface, so actually applying changes remains equally intuitive thanks to Wix's acclaimed editing interface that centralizes tools into contextual panels while retaining familiar word processing behaviors, adding, deleting, and reorganizing size elements through the drag and drop flows. So whether swapping photos or changing fonts or even inserting the contact forms, the ribbon-like menus simplify modifying site structures without coming through foreign technical options that intimidate beginners. And what you see on your screen is literally what you end up getting. There's also the 500 plus app integrations, so beyond the baseline templates and rearrangement flexibility, one of Wix's biggest differentiators is their vast digital app market, allowing incorporating advanced functionalities like social feeds, lead generation pop-ups, booking systems, audio embeds, SEO optimizations, and countless other utilities through near one-click installations. So clearly when it comes to catering specifically to non-technical users prioritizing beautiful sites above all else, Wix right here ticks every box through accessibility, simplifying previously intimidating technical domains. But does this convenience come at a cost? Let's begin comparing to Webflow. So when it comes to Webflow's capabilities, this platform represents a really fascinating approach, rethinking how websites get built traditionally. And at the very core, the appeal with tools like Webflow in my mind comes from cleverly fusing two important elements. And that's the tremendous site building flexibility powered by robust technical depth, and the forward-facing visual elegance welcoming to non-developers. And balancing these two factors is very difficult yet insanely valuable if executed properly. So when we come to evaluate Webflow, the question becomes, does Webflow successfully distinguish themselves from the more simplistic site builders like Wix Studio? And to answer the question from my own testing and experience over the years using the platform, Webflow absolutely warrant merit advancing website creation into new territory. And to further analyze the specific architecture decisions and component workflows responsible, the very first ingredient that Webflow wisely tapped into was embracing a design-first tooling philosophy right out of the gates. And this means rather than confronting users with coding environments, initially like traditional approaches, Webflow lets you visually compose sites through drafting boxes, text elements, and arranging media assets more similarly to how you'd organize layouts in graphical tools like Sketch or Photoshop. 
And this familiarity through drag drop of side components allows much quicker conversion of existing frames into live templates. You don't need to switch into completely foreign development landscapes early on across teams, which are normally used to iterating visually. And underneath this front-end visual design, Webflow dynamically handles translating all drag drop choices into cleanly structured HTML markup and any necessary JavaScript logic to power dynamic functions in the background to users. So rather than having to manually coordinate all those connected languages building our interactions, Webflow interprets point and click gestures into coded outcomes so technical depth gets harnessed without the typical learning curve, which normally stops the creators that are not very familiar with coding. So you get immense site capability without necessarily realizing complexity and play. And this is arguably Webflow's most compelling hook. No code accessibility, yet near endless feature potential. Expanding further, native version control integrations like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket also enable seamlessly pushing Webflow projects into external repos, which allow complementary code collaboration across both visual builders and hardcore dev teams. And this works wonders helping agile agency workflows, allowing the complementary skill set to thrive on shared sites. So in summary, Wix optimizes for accessibility and Webflow optimizes for adaptability. Determining the ideal pairings requires honest self-evaluation around the ambitions, competencies, and willingness scaling technical complexity alongside the audiences. But for the majority seeking reliable results quick, Wix surely satisfies through simplified power. And for the innovators continually pushing creative boundaries, Webflow warrants inspection, providing infrastructure, supporting long-term needs. And this will be a wrap on today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other questions or your thoughts on the topic. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.